Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a chit chat get ready with me video of this look today. This is what I came up with. I did use some new products as well as some old products as well. So yeah, if you'd like to see how to achieve this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by using the L'Oreal Revitalift Magic Blur Cream. This is really, really nice for if you have fine lines to fill in or pores that you want to be hidden and stuff like that. It's just a little cream like this that I applied to the center of my face. So I apply it more in this region and then whatever I have left over, I just blend over the rest of my face. You don't need a lot of this at all, maybe like a pea size amount and then it will do pretty much your whole face. I really, really like it. I've been using it for a while now. Carrying on with the L'Oreal theme, I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal foundation. This one is the Infallible Matte 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 22 Radiant Beige. I've never used this before, so this is going to be super, super exciting. I hope it matches. Yeah, it should be a good match, I think. I like how there's no fragrance added to it, so that's good. I'm just going to use a flat top buff brush to buff it into my skin so what I do is I pat the product onto my skin and then I will kind of buff it in afterwards after my face is evenly covered in the product I haven't filmed in so long like you've probably seen a video here and there but I haven't like sat down and filmed in so long because I've been busy with uni work but I was just kind of like sitting there going you know what I just want to like do my makeup so I thought that I'd at least film a video I'm in my hopefully last semester if I pass all my exams and no joke, I'm so excited to just finish. Like I've been at uni for like five years now. It's just like I'm so over it. Like I just want to get out of there. I'm taking a bit more of that foundation. It's looking really, really nice on my fake tan actually. By the time you see this video, I'm probably like finished exams and stuff because like I did pre-record and edit a lot of videos so that I'll still have at least one video a week to go up on my channel while I was studying and stuff. Okay, I really, really like the foundation. It does look really, really nice on the skin. It is more of a matte foundation, but it does provide nice medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's high coverage like it claims to on the bottle, but it is nice medium coverage. For me personally, I don't care if I get full coverage out of my foundation, just as long as most of my redness is neutralized. That's all I really care about and that my face matches my chest neck area. At least recently, that's what I've been liking. I actually do quite like this foundation. I might continue to use it depending on how it performs today. I actually am not doing anything today besides like two assignments that I have to do on Monday. Um, but yeah. Like, working full-time and studying full-time is intense. I don't like it. <laughs> but I'm soldiering through. Okay. I really want a cream contour before I conceal my under eyes, just because I can. Um, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I also haven't used this before either. Um, this is in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I did squeeze out a little bit to see what it would be like. So I'm just going to kind of like mark this on my face. I don't know how pigmented it is or anything like that, but we'll see how we go. Oh man, this might be really dark. I might need a lighter shade. Woo. Okay. Whatever. We're going to roll with it. Oh man, that's a huge blob. I only bought one shade to see how I would like it. Hopefully I like it. I would prefer it if this like brush tip applicator wasn't there and it was just like a squeeze tube and a little nib. I think that would be a lot better. Are you even supposed to contour there? I've got no idea. So I recently bought a Nutribullet, is that what it's called? Magic Bullet? One of those bullet blender things. And I've been making smoothies, like unhealthy smoothies, for the past like two weeks and I'm not even hating like they're just so delicious like I do two scoops ice cream and then I do like maybe a third of a cup of soy milk and then I chuck in like a heap of fruit and then a little bit of water and oh my god it's been like my recent obsession I just felt the need to tell you guys that. I don't think you care at all. Would you guys like to see like cooking videos from me? Cause I love cooking. And I love like preparing snacks and stuff, especially for work. 
like just nice like nibbly snacks not like intense snacks <laughs> so I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal what's this called touch magic pen this is in the shade W5 I bought this because it's a bit more of an orange toned concealer um, to counteract the darkness underneath my eyes I really want to get the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the orange shade for this, but at the moment I've just got this, so. What else is there to tell you guys? Oh my god, I hope I graduate so badly because I just want to like get it over and done with and I also want to like wear my graduation gown. Um, I'll need to buy it and stuff, but I'm so excited, like you guys have no idea. I've been shopping for makeup that I can use on my graduation day for like the long- Like I've always known that I will eventually graduate university. But did you guys just hear my sheep? Anyway, like I always knew that I would eventually get to the end of it just because like I can literally see it. Like it's either going to be this semester or next semester that I graduate and I am literally so pumped. Like so incredibly pumped. I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Illuminate Brightener. I think that's what it's called. Just a few clicks of that underneath my eyes just to lighten the area. This is pink based. Um, which is probably not ideal for my skin tone. I probably should be using my yellow toned one But I finished up my old one and I have a new one sitting there But I want to use up this one first so I don't know does anyone else do that or, or is that just me? Can you guys tell me who your favorite youtubers are? I'm obsessed with Amanda Ensing like she is absolutely gorgeous. I love her so much She's just like you can tell that she's just the most genuine soul and that's what I love about her. Like, she's just so nice and so genuinely caring about people. I don't know. It's really, really hard to explain. But if you guys know what I mean, then you know what I mean. Um, I'm just going to tack out this concealer as well. I'm trying to use a lot more affordable products in my videos. Um, so if you catch me using high-end products and you have, like, an alternative for it, then please comment it down below, like, um, if I'm using, like, a high-end eyeshadow or something. So I'm trying to use more drugstore products in my videos because, well, I tried to add up like all the products that I used in a video once and no joke, like that shit gets expensive, like so ridiculously expensive and it's like, okay, so I'm just going to go with Max Soft Decker Paint Pot. I know that I just said that I'm trying to use more drugstore products in my videos, but honestly, I cannot find a cheaper alternative for this, at least in Australia. If you do have an eyeshadow base that is coloured, um, that does last really, really well, then definitely let me know because I'll be more than happy to give it a try, but this is all that I have at the moment, and I'm just applying that to my eyelids. At the moment, I'm trying to play with my lighting and stuff my lighting, my camera settings and stuff like that. So I'm trying to forever improve my camera quality. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve my videos more, definitely let me know, because I'm all down for that. I'm gonna use the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. This, oh my goodness, all powder went everywhere. Rookie error. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's just a loose powder, and I'm gonna pat that underneath my eyes to set it. I feel like you can't even see this powder for baking. Is this like even the type of powder you're supposed to use? Maybe I'll use a brush. I mean, a sponge, hold on. Maybe that's how you're supposed to apply the baking. Is that how you're supposed to apply it? I don't really know. I don't know if I'm applying too much of the powder or what, but it's kind of looking like what people do on Instagram. So I might be doing something right. I don't really know. So I'm going to set my eyelids using the Maybelline Matte Maker in the shade, what shade is this? Classic Ivory. I feel like I really need to do this every time I use any eyeshadow base, purely for the fact that, oh my goodness, my eyelashes have powder on them. <laughs> purely for the fact that it does um, make the eyeshadow base a little bit less tacky and then your eyeshadows are more blendable on top. Okay, so I did get a new brush from Morphe. This is the E29 brush. This is the eyebrow brush. This is my first ever Morphe brush. I'm also going to be going with my Chi Chi Brow Pomade. Seriously, such a good brow product. Um, if you don't have very full eyebrows like myself, like even if I brush them through, like this is kind of like as good as it looks by itself. This one, not so bad, but still.
Now I'm going to move on to the eyes, which I'm so excited for because I have a new palette to show you guys. I'm using a lot of new stuff in this video, hey. Anyway, this is a sleek palette. First time trying sleek, I bought two things from Target. Um, this is the Oh So Special palette. I was going to say special. <laughs> it was on sale for, I think, $15, but normally they are $20. Or $19.95, one of the other. Um, this is what the palette looks like here. So I'm gonna start off by using that camel color and I'm gonna use it. Oh my god. Sponge tip applicator. Go away. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by using this camel color and I'm gonna apply that to the crease. This is such a pretty transition color. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this color. I have no idea what's the difference between those two colors or whatever. I'm gonna apply that kind of to the outer portion of the eye and then kind of bring it up into the crease, I think. I might also use this shade as my eyebrow powder. Oh, that shade's not as pigment as I thought it would be. Okay. Which is kind of a good thing. I'm just continuing to go back and forth with that camel color to blend out that black shade. It's not even black, it's like a super dark brown. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this color to set my eyebrow. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking this shade right here. At one stage, I do wanna use this blue, maybe another day, but I'm gonna apply that to the lid. Okay, that's not as pigmented as what I thought it would be. That is okay. I'm gonna continue to dip in. I am getting like no fallout from these shadows, so I am super, super impressed. Considering this palette was like $15. I'm gonna admit though, like I've been wanting to try Sleek for like five years. Since like I first started watching YouTube. So I'm very, very happy that I have one of these palettes now. It's kind of like a little bit sentimental to me. <laughs> wow, I'm using this camel color so much. I was not expecting to use the camel color as much as I have. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the, the shade again and with a little smidge of black, tapping off any excess. I'm just going to go over the outer portion of the eye again. I'm going to take a little bit of the camel color and I'm going to mix it in with this color and I'll apply that to the lower lashes. This brush is literally so old and like mangy but I still love it so much. It's from Jessup and it's a short shader brush. Like literally the paint's coming off it. I love it so much. I'm gonna quickly apply a little bit of liquid eyeliner. This one's from L'Oreal. It's the super liner. Just a little thin line across my lash line just so the fake eyelashes will look a little bit less noticeable. Okay, time to contour. I'm not gonna dust this away. I've got no idea when you actually do dust that away. Um, but I'm gonna be using my new sleek contour kit. This is in the shade of light. You get a highlighter and a kind of contour powder, so that's really, really good. I'm just gonna take mine on my NARS brush, just a little bit of the powder. Ooh, I like it. The only thing that I must say about this is the fact that it's not even that light of a contour powder, like I would say this is quite, like this is as dark as I would go in terms of a contour powder and this is the lighter shade. I kind of wish they would bring out like more realistic contour shades. I don't know, that's just my opinion though. Like I'm sure fair people can rock this too, but I personally would not wear this at my playlist. That was a fail at applying my eyelash. Anyway, I'm gonna take the highlight shade and I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I literally applied so much baking powder that it's not sticking to that part of my face. I'm going to apply a little bit down the center of my nose, because that's why I always apply it. And then I do whatever's left over on the brush onto my forehead. I don't think I'm going to do mascara on the lower lashes. I feel like it would just be way too much and way down the eye a little bit. I want the eye to be really, really lifted in this video. Um, what next? Should I apply blush? I never apply blush. No, but I am in a bronze. I'm going to be using my Models Preferred Trio Bronzer in the shade Glow 2. I love this thing so much. I'm just going to take a little swirl of everything. And I'm just going to kind of just bronze my face. 
I did pull out this Chi Chi lipstick. This is in the shade Lady Bump. I'm gonna give this a go. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I'm gonna line my lips using this Essence Lip Liner shade Red Blush. Probably should have picked another one, but this is just the closest one that I have to me. Now to apply Lady Bump. I did grab my lips with the Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm in the shade Shameless, and that's what's made it a lot more lipstick on my teeth. A lot more purple. Um, I really, really like how the look turned out. I'll definitely continue to bake my contour area more often. I really, really like how that turned out. Probably won't bake underneath my eyes. I don't really feel like it did that much of a difference to my under eyes, but overall, I'm really, really happy with how the look turned out. I hope you guys liked it as well. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.